Good morning, you guys. As promised, I'm here to help you with your Bible studies. Today, we're going to be reading from the book of Mark, the very beginning of Mark, okay? So we're going to make this super easy. You're probably just struggling with uh, spending time with the Father. So this is a good time. Go get your Bible. I'm going to be reading from the New King James. And here we go. All right. So it says, the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God as it is written in the prophets. Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way before you, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John came baptizing in the wilderness and preaching a baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. Then all the land, then all the land of Judea and those from Jerusalem went out to him and were all baptized by him in the Jordan River, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair and with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. And he preached, saying, There comes one after me who is mightier than I, whose sandal straps I am not worthy to stoop down and loose i indeed baptize you with water but he will baptize you with the holy spirit so as you know john was jesus's cousin and he is preparing the way for jesus now he's baptizing people he's um you know telling them to repent people are repenting they're being baptized and he's saying there is one who is worthy who is more worthy even i can't stoop down and lose his sandals right so here he's preparing the way very simple now john is baptizing with water but he's saying the one that's coming is going to baptize with the holy spirit but let's continue reading it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And immediately coming up from the water, he saw the heavens parting and the spirit descending upon him like a dove. Then a voice came from heaven, you are my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Now for reference, Jesus makes it to John and asks John to get baptized. And John indeed does baptize Jesus. Now, when Jesus is coming out of the water, they're saying here that they seen um, the spirit descending upon him like a dove. Now, a lot of people think it was a dove, but that's not the case. It's light in the likeness of a dove, okay? And the spirit fell upon Jesus. And let's see what happens next. Immediately, the spirit drove him into the wilderness and he was there in the wilderness 40 days, tempted by Satan and was with the wild beasts and the angels ministered to him. So here we see that God, you know, um, before this, we see that God says, you are my, my, you are my beloved son in whom I am well pleased and I am. Okay. He is full he is fully baptized with the Holy Spirit. And it says here that the Spirit drove him into the wilderness. Now, this is in fact what happens to a lot of us when we are baptized in the Holy Spirit. Our lives change. They're not the same. And here is Jesus being baptized. And right away, the Holy Spirit takes him into the wilderness. And guess what? We're going to stop right there. We're not going to keep reading because there's a lot of information that we just read that we kind of have to dive in and kind of dissect. And I also want to encourage you guys that you don't have to read the Bible all the way. You can stop here. It is okay because... It needs to make sense to you. If the word is not making sense to you, you're reading too far all too far into it and everything gets lost. And I don't want that for you. I want you to understand what you're reading. So far, we know that there's this man named John. He's wearing camel's hair. He eats locusts and honey. He must look crazy. He must look wild. And indeed, yes, he was, okay? And he was loud and he was in your face telling you to repent, make a way for the Lord is coming. And he was baptizing many people and many people were baptized because of him, including Jesus, all right? Now he baptizes Jesus. The Holy Spirit falls on him. The Holy Spirit drove Jesus to the wilderness. So there is something about being baptized in the 
Holy Spirit. Many of you have been baptized by water, but you need to be baptized by the Holy Spirit. Now, I remember when there, the, that it was my time to get baptized with the Holy Spirit, and it was radical. It was crazy. That lady looked at me in my eyes and said, your life will never be the same. And she wasn't lying. My life has been it, my, it, it almost like kicks you into ministry, you know, it, there's, it's a process, but anybody and everyone who wants to be baptized can and indeed will be baptized. So there's a lot of information. You see how excited I get excited. I'm like, oh man, there's so many good stuff happening. Um, and it says immediately the spirit drove him into the wilderness and he was there in the wilderness 40 days I am just like that went into fasting. Why? And that's another reason why fasting is very important. So that's the Bible studies for today. Isn't that interesting? So much good information, but it's deep. Now, why do we need fasting? Because it, it makes our spirit stronger. Okay. Um, a lot of the times you are not going to be very successful because you need fasting. Fasting is a big requirement to walk with the Lord. Why? Because it makes your spirit man stronger. Just like your body needs food, so does your spirit. And the food comes from the word of God. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this little Bible study. It's a little long, but that's all right. Get it in. You know, even hearing this little bit is good. It is good for our soul. It is good for us to start the day like this. So God bless you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow for a little bit more of Bible studies with your girl, Diana. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs>